The first unmanned mission to the moon was in 1959 by the Soviet lunar program, with the first manned landing being Apollo 11 in 1969. The primary objective of Apollo 11 was to complete a national goal set by President John F. Kennedy on May 25, 1961, being performed a crewed lunar landing in return to Earth. Additional flight objectives included scientific exploration by the lunar module, deployment of a television camera to transmit signals to Earth, and deployment of a solar wind composition experiment and seismic experiment package. During the exploration, the two astronauts were to collect samples from the moon and return them to Earth. They were also given instructions to photograph the lunar surface as much as they could. On July the 20th, 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to land on the moon. Around six and a half hours later, Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. However, over the years, photographs have made the rounds on social media, and some have suggested that Neil Armstrong's footprint on the moon doesn't match that of his spacesuits. It all started when a photograph of Neil Armstrong's Apollo 11 spacesuit was compared to his footprint on the moon. And interestingly, this was the actual suit he wore while on the moon. The reason the footprints are different is because the astronauts had more gear on. This was in the form of lunar overshoes that went over the suits. Interestingly, these, along with many other objects, were left on the moon. This was in order to help reduce the weight of the spacecraft. Another thing that was reported recently was that NASA lost the original footage of the first moonwalk. Incredibly, although this sounds like some outlandish theory, there is some truth to it. NASA had this to say. NASA searched for it but could not locate some of the original Apollo 11 data tapes. Original in the sense they are directly recorded data transmitted from the moon. An intensive search of archives and records concluded that the most likely scenario was that the program managers determined there was no longer a need to keep the tapes since all video and data were recorded elsewhere and they were erased and reused. NASA also said the data from these original tapes were relayed to the Manned Spacecraft Center, further saying the following. The video was recorded there and in other locations. There is no missing video footage of the Apollo 11 moonwalk. Interestingly, it was announced that while this was going on, a NASA intern was selling what he said were the lost Apollo 11 tapes. The worker said that he brought the tapes from the government and that he hopes to sell them. However, NASA officials have said the tapes don't contain any material that hasn't already been preserved. NASA had this to say about the tapes. If the tapes are as described in the sale material, they are two-inch videotapes recorded in Houston from the video that's been converted to a format that could be broadcast over commercial television and contain no material that hasn't been preserved at NASA. So what do you guys make of NASA losing these tapes? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.